I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry I betrayed your trust. I'm sorry I pushed you all away. I'm sorry I made a clown of myself. I apologize. I wish it didn't have to be this way. But unfortunately, I'm breaking my my own rules. No bitch niggas and shit. I shouldn't have pushed so many people away. Now I've got nobody. You know, I wasn't suicidal before. I really wasn't. But one thing I didn't realize was that the walls were closing around me so fast. I really had no intention of killing myself, but I would always push it too far. I guess I am mentally ill. Or maybe I will. I'm not trying to put responsibility on it. I mean, I did a lot of wrong, too. I did a lot of wrong. Everyone's got to pay for what they've done wrong at some point. Everyone's got to pay for their sins at some point. I guess mine caught up to me. I'm sorry to those of you who I betrayed. I'm sorry for leaving such a stained legacy. I hope that my story maybe helps to make YouTube a better place somehow in the future. To where people know boundaries and limits of how far things should go. In an attempt to be edgy, I fucked up my entire life. It was a fun life. I had a great time. It was great, but for it to be cut shows cut so short. It's fucked. I know this world's gonna forget me. I know y'all are all gonna move on. And everything's gonna be good, you know? There'll be technology and games and movies I'll never see. I'll never see Attack on Titan. Ah, that last episode with Grisha was crazy too, bro. I'll never see how Attack on Titan finishes. Um, I guess it's starting to hit me now Because I'm starting to break up a little bit I'm like, oh fuck Tears are coming, nigga Here we go Bitch nigga time It's bitch nigga time Fuck But now nah, I'm going to keep my composure There's a lot of things I won't see A lot of people who I wanted to see grow up You know, John Shout out to Katie and you And the kids I wish I could have seen them grow up I wish I could have seen what happened with the boys, you know I wish I could have seen what happened with everybody. You know? I've come too far. Was it the social media? Was it the mental illness? Was it the edginess? It was a mix of all of them. But I ultimately turned down help. And you know what they say, you can't help somebody who doesn't want to help themselves. I just didn't realize I needed help. That's how deluded I was, man. It's not your fault. I don't want you to blame yourselves. It's all my fault. I'm the one that pushed y'all away. And then I deluded myself into thinking that somehow I didn't destroy a big part of my life. That somehow I was ahead of the curve. It was like that heavy delusion that I couldn't pull myself out of. I didn't even know I was in it. I was saying and doing things that made no sense. All because I was too scared to drop my image. Fuck, man. So, I deserve uh, whatever's coming to me, I suppose. I suppose. I'm sorry I let y'all down. I really apologize. I wish I could have been stronger. I could have lived better. I wish I could have done more. I wish I was more receptive. I wish I was more open. I wish I wasn't so combative. I wish I didn't think I always knew the best. It's a confusing world sometimes, dog. I'm sorry to all of you. I'm sorry to Christine. I'm sorry to Fiona. I'm sorry to my mom. I'm sorry to Ben. I'm sorry to Ray. Auntie Anne. Everybody on Instagram, Twitter. I'm sorry to Sun. I 
I'm really sorry. Let my story be one that advises caution on too much of the social media shit, man. It can fuck you up. It can give you an image of what you want your life to be. And it can get blown completely out of proportion, dog. Unfortunately, it consumed me. And it made me forget about consequences to my actions. It made me forget that we have to pay for the things that we say. It made me forget that there are, um, there is weight behind words I was so consumed with this great image that I had had that I thought I was invulnerable to everything I thought oh I'm destined for this nothing can stop me it's stupid every time I made a bad decision one that I didn't think would hurt me friends would always be like hey you sure about this dog are you doing okay you feeling okay probably shouldn't do that and I did it anyways I made a lot of bad decisions, dog. And now when it comes to pay the consequences, I'm too much of a pussy to do it. And it's sad. The world will be better off without me. At least learning from my lesson. Keemstar, <laughs> I wish you the best, my nigga. Um, Pokey, sorry for scaring you so much. I really am sorry for that. I apologize. That was being stupid. <sighs> Christine, sorry for being so hard-headed. And all the other horrible things I did. I mean, hey, two, two wrongs don't make a right, but I mean, you know. Hmm. 